So guys, it is the Sun Belt Championship game here. A CFR 10 win season can be rewarded with a nice win. And this lag is nuts to start the game. Goodness. Second and six. See if we can just kind of stay on the ground here and pound that ball. We're probably going to have to throw it as we didn't get anything there and bring up third down. As a senior, this is one of the last outings for Chase Bryce. We'll see how he, oh, and a terrible play. I feel like that was offensive PI, and he threw it directly at the linebacker. Yeah, I was throwing that to Deshaun Davis. Look at this play right here, guys. I was throwing this to this route here. He gets hit right as I'm releasing that pass. That is so unfortunate to start this game. Our defense is going to have to come up so clutch here after the horrible play to start this game. And that is a great tackle right there from the whole defense for only a two-yard gain. Troy has also had a pretty solid season this year. The problem is, is their starting quarterback is injured. He's out for the season. So we have the backup quarterback in right now. And that is going to be a sack. Who was there? Was that? That was Jordan Earl with the sack. That's big. Try to pump this crowd up a little bit here. See what they have. They're going to throw that. That's a Good throw. The route bounce had him wide open. See if we can bring the safeties down. Send a little pressure here. See if we can get a sack. And that is a good throw. And he's going to get eight yards. And he's real close to the end zone now. Try to press the whole team here. See what we can do. Didn't expect it to be that. Oh, what a good throw. That is a touchdown to the tight end, and they are up 7-zip. We'll see if this drive is better than the last one, but that was so unfortunate that it was somewhere. It was still less than 5 yards from the line of scrimmage, so it was legal, but it's just so unlucky. And Caden Robinson has some room, and he's going to get the first down for 13. Chase needs to just shake that off. It's an unlucky first interception, and we need to get right back to doing good. And that's just one guy to beat, but couldn't do it. Only gets a yard. See if we can try a little bit of a screen pass this time. And they're going nowhere. They snuffed that out from the get-go. Troy's defense has been doing really, really well so far to start this game. We'll see what they do now. Going to have a good pass to Deshaun Davis. And he's going to get the first down for 15. First and 10 now. Oh, that could be bad. Uh, I looked like he had a step on him, but he got glued after that, and that almost could have been picked again. Chase needs to settle down a little bit here. We need to just be moving the ball. That's all we need to be doing right now. Nothing fancy. Cameron's going to get five yards to the outside. Third and short. See if we can pick up something here. Does he have enough space to get around the outside? He does, and Chase is going to be able to run with it. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds at the 25, and a good first down pickup from the QB. Our senior quarterback was just fast enough to be able to get that to the edge. And Caden Robinson is going to get a nice little four-yard gain up the middle. Let's see if we can get Dalton Stroman involved here on a little triple option, but it looks like it's actually going to be Cameron Peoples this time, and he's going to get the first. Moving the ball down the field a little bit at a time. See what we can do. Another little screen pass to Dalton Stroman. He's got some speed, and he's going to be down to the three-yard line. He actually ends up being down to about the four-yard line instead of the three, but we will see what happens here. Looks like man's a new real reason to bring anybody over and Cameron just can't get off the tackle he had so much space for a touchdown there but he literally got stuck on oh, it was the fullback he got stuck on David Larkins and couldn't get off of him try to see if we can run the ball without a fullback and see if that works better and he's gonna fight down for a two yard gain down to the one yard line now see if we can punch it in with the fullback and we are in for a touchdown. David Larkins is going to put us up to tie the game. All right, now let's see what our defense can do when we actually have room to give instead of them starting the ball in the 25. Just not ideal. And they are going to swallow him up. Logan Dublin makes a huge tackle. Got two running backs in on this time. They're going to just lob that one off. And oh, man. And wow, what amount of broken tackles from this running back. 
goodness. I really felt like we could have brought that man down in the backfield, but Ronald Clark misses another tackle, and it's just unfortunate. And he doesn't have any space, and Andrew Parker's there to put him down for a sack. A 10-yard sack is massive. That's going to bring up fourth down. First and 10, see if we can hit him with a little bit of play action. We're just going to have to lob that off to Larkins, and he's going to get basically nothing. Let's see if we can just continue to pound the ground game here. And Cameron Peoples has a nice move, and he's going to get the first down and an 11-yard gain. Let's see if we can try to get Deshaun Davis involved here, get him on a little jet sweep action here. And he's just going to go up for about five yards, and that's going to end that first quarter. Second and five. See if we can pick up some yards here and just couldn't get through the pile, and we're going to get down to a third and two. Looks like they're sending the safety down, so it's probably a blitz. Good throw to Deshaun Davis. He's going to fight for some yards, and he's down to the 30. After throwing that early pick, Chase Bryce has really started to clean up his act here in this game, and that's a good thing because we really need him to play a clean game here in this championship. Let's see what we have here. Looking like probably another zone coverage, and Wells is going to make the nice catch, and he's down to the 12-yard line. Christian Wells has really been fantastic on that play. And that is a good throw, and it's intercepted. It was so, he let it go at a terrible spot. He needed to push him back towards the pylon because there's no way the flat defender is going to intercept a corner route. That's just a terrible pass from Chase Bryce. I really thought that was a touchdown all day. He had a completely wide open. It was a blown coverage assignment by the by the their corner. And the flat corner was able to play defense well enough to come back and get the interception. That is just incredible play by the corner. I feel like pretty much every time I go in and compliment Chase Bryce, he finds a way to make me regret my compliment as he just, oh, it was such an underthrown pass. Unlucky. And Logan Dublin is going to be there. That's a sack. He's going to lose three yards. Third and very long. And that is going to be another sack. Oh my goodness. Is that four sacks on the day? Karen White getting in on the action. Apparently we're just going to need to run the ball. And nothing but run the ball. Because it's, uh, oh, okay. Chase Bryce has a little bit of space. He has actually has a lot of space. He's going down the sideline. Is he going to take it to the house? He is. A huge touchdown from Chase Bryce. I was not expecting that, but all right. That's got to be, what, 50 yards? I cannot believe Chase Bryce actually got just an insane read option touchdown on that to put us up by seven, but we need another defense to stop. Let's get some momentum here. You have to let me know, guys. What do you think? Did you expect that Chase had that in him? Do you think he could get a 50-yard read option touchdown? Like, that's just unheard of, I think. Oh, my God goodness and he fumbles the football oh my goodness does is he actually down is that actually legit did we force a fumble let's see i don't know if he was down but i can't believe that we missed that one tackle i think that's a good fumble they are not gonna review it so that is a solid fumble huge play for us and uh, oh my Cameron Peoples finds a substream for 12 yards. Let's see what we can do to hit him here with another one of those read option plays. As we have a lot of space in front of us. And Strowman's going to have the ball. Is he going to be able to fight for the end zone? No, he's down to the five. Let's see if we can hit a wide receiver screen and give Strowman a nice touchdown here. Doesn't really look like we're going to be able to do that. So Chase is going to have to run with it. And he's going to get pushed out after a three-yard gain. Second to goal, we were about... Through four yards out from the end zone. Cameron does not fast enough, but does get three. Surprised to see they only have three down linemen here. So this should be a freebie, and it is. That's a touchdown for Cameron, and we're up 21 to 7. Our defense has definitely been clamping up in this game so far. Wondering if we're gonna expect some sort of screen here. And that is a dropped pass to the tight end. Our man coverage has just been pretty clamped so far, so we're just going to kind of stick with it a little bit until they show us that they can find a way to beat it. 
and they are going to have a great broken tackle, and that's a first down from Vidal. Going to send in some pressure here with a zero blitz. See what we can do with Dublin. And that is a good throw under pressure. See if we can mix this up. We'll try to throw in some zone coverage here. See what we get. Looks like a little play action here. They're going to throw it, and it is. Oh, it was a great throw in between two coverage. I really thought we might have had a pick there. I guess that's the problem with having linebackers out there for your underneath zones. Just not enough change of direction to be able to get there fast enough. And they're going to run with it, and Deshaun McKnight's going to get another sack. I don't know. I feel like their quarterback is just not comfortable in this position. I'm not sure when their starter got injured for the season. I don't know if it was early, but that's another sack from Deshaun McKnight. A 10-yard sack. That's going to be third and long. But their QB does not look comfortable back there. I can tell you that for sure. He does not look comfortable. And that is not going anywhere. That's a no-yard gain. Nick Hampton blows it up at backfield. And they're going to punt. See what we can do with a minute, 47 seconds. Strowman's got it. Gets a nice move, and he's going to be down to the 40-yard line with a good pickup. Love to keep getting Dalton Stroman involved in the action as much as possible. Oh, a second later, that would have been great to Cameron, but that pressure was relentless. A second down now. That is a awful pass. I did not say to throw that out of bounds, but that was not even close. It would be really unfortunate to have some sort of empty possession here. See if we can find something to do. We're going to drop it off, but he just can't fight for enough yards, so we're just going to have to punt that off. First and 10 after the punt. They don't have a ton of space, but wow, that was a great play by the receiver, and he gets leveled after the play, but that's a 25-yard stumbling gain on the slant. Dexter Lawson got absolutely torched on that play. On the slant over the middle. So we'll see what they do on the next possession here. They're going to run with it. And they're not getting much there. Logan Dublin's there for another tackle. And the clock will continue to run. Looks like they actually ended up calling their second timeout. So they have one left now. Under a minute left in this game. They're going to try to just scramble out there. And he will break a tackle. Oh my goodness. Could have had him in the backfield. That's unfortunate. They're going to no huddle this now then. See what they can pick up here. Motioning the tight end over to the right side of the field. He's going to run back to the other side. And that is a broken tackle. And he's down into enemy territory now. We'll try to switch it up. See if we can throw in some zone coverage to mix it up on them. See what we can do. Try to see if we can rush with Parker. And that was a good throw. Just over Nick Ross's head. He couldn't get to it. Try the zone just a little bit to kind of give our guys a little bit more of a breather there. Not running as much as when they're in man coverage. And that is intercepted by Ethan Johnson. And he's going to take this thing all the way to the end zone. A pick six from the freshman corner. As he finally did it, he made a fantastic play and came down with the interception. That is so clutch for him to be eventually taking over as CB1 next year. We need more and more plays like that. So it looks like they're probably just going to be running this thing out here to the half. They're going to... Oh my goodness. Don't tell me. Don't tell me he did it. Oh my goodness. They're running the clock out. Jamontez Woods with an insane play to put them back up. What a horrific way to end the half. Literally, we have such a good, we had such a great defensive half until that last play. Like, we just can't have a solid half for any reason. Not, not sure why. Would have been so nice to have a three possession lead, especially because we had to kick it off to them to start this half. It's like that part's not ideal. And they're going to run with it again. And it's another sack. That somehow counts as a sack. But Logan Dublin's going to have another one. I'm just wondering how many sacks we're going to have in this game. This is excessive. 
running this off here and he is there for a nice gain and that's a first down first and 10 for Troy they're gonna go on the counter run and they're gonna take him down for another nine yard gain as they're just running at will right now on us luckily they haven't been running the ball more because we really cannot stop their run and that's another great run another eight yard run i mean if you're averaging eight to nine yards a carry you're gonna destroy your opponent and jordan earl is there for a loss of one great play from the d tackle we don't often get any sort of defensive line stats in the run game we tend to be more of uh, in the pass game we get something and they're gonna run with it and Logan Dublin's going to make another tackle, a gang tackle for a gain of eight. It's third and short. See if we can send a little corner blitz. See what that does for us. And they are going to run the ball. And that is not going anywhere. Nick Hampton shoots the gap, and they're going to lose three. After the punt, we are back here on offense to see what we can do. Going to just drop it off to Peoples, and he's going to drop it again. He has a bad habit of dropping those curl routes. See what we got going on here. Oh my goodness, that's a terrible throw. Oh, that was supposed to be to the sideline, and he threw that almost to midfield. Nah. I feel like we probably should have run with it earlier in this down, and now it's like a longer down, and I have to throw it, which is not ideal. But we do seem to be a little quicker. Nope. He gets leveled. Mm. We're going to have to punt that away. That punt... The returner missed it, and it bounced all the way to the one-yard line and got downed at the one. That's insane. Let's see if we can get a safety, then. Don't want to be super aggressive here and let up a 99-yard touchdown play, but we'll see what we can do. And that is a great pitch and catch, and that is a huge hit. Oh, my goodness. That was an absolutely massive shot. I have not seen it hit that hard in a while. Let's see what they do on first down. Looks like they're just trying to run with it with a QB again. And he is going to break a t breaks two tackles. Oh my goodness, don't do it. Don't do it. He's going to. He's going to take it all the way for an 88-yard touchdown. Oh my gosh, our tackling is terrible. Our tackling is atrocious. Atrocious. I don't even know what to say. It is that bad. And Cameron Peoples gets a nice run for 11. I wish the defense, their defense's tackling was that bad. I mean, goodness, we'd be going nuts then. Cameron's going to get another couple yards. Second and seven. Mm, Caden's gonna drop that mm, we tried to throw it low and he kind of threw a bad pass third and seven safety walking down Let's see what we can do drop that off to Wells and oh he can't get the first I really don't know what to do to help our tackling situation because it is just it's so bad especially in this game it's not good and uh, we really can't, we were up by three scores. I mean, we really do not want to be letting them come all the way back from just tackling issues. That's a great tackle, though, from Andrew Parker. I think we're going to have to try a little bit more zone coverage. The amount that they're trying to run with the QB, having people at least be facing the quarterback might help. And Clark is going to be back there, and Dublin's also there to help tank him down. Our punting's been pretty immaculate today, which, I mean, that's... That's a good thing, but not ideally that you want punting to be your best part of the game. And Nick Ross is going to be there to bring him down. Going to try to send the house here. And that punt is away. Deshaun will have a chance to return it. Is he fast enough to make some people miss? It looks like he is. He's going to be down to the one. No, oh, he's down to the one yard line. Oh, he was so close. We're just going to try to pound this thing in. And that is a touchdown from Cameron. So unlucky it wasn't Deshaun's touchdown there. He really deserved it, but that's going to put us up by another seven. So we're going to go switch back here over to cover four. 
Let's see what we can do again. And that is going to be a good tackle, but somehow gets seven by rolling over his own mod receiver. And they're going to have another throw here. And that is a big sack. Is that Parker? No, that is Palliant. Hansky Palliant with another sack. Good stunt play. We tried to switch it up, do something different, and it results in a sack. We go on third down. That is going to be another sack. Oh my goodness. Are we, are we at 10 or close to? Andrew Parker hunts him down. Another screen play just blown up. I really feel like we had a legit chance to be in a shutout right now if we wouldn't have terrible tackling and that one interception that really just gave him free points. And Chase Bryce is going to get some space and he's going to gain 17 yards on the triple option. Chase has five rushes for 86 yards on the day. That's insane. That's a definite career high, I'd say, for him. Strowman's going to get a chance to run with it. Gets a nice juke move. That cut was clean for 16 yards. Not going to lie, though. I mean, Strowman's not the fastest kid in the yard, but he's got some elusive moves. Cameron's got some sort of space there. He's going to fight forward for the first down, and we're into the five. See if we can pound this thing in they're giving us a nice opening camera's gonna fight forward and gets a few only three down linemen here two yards out from the end zone gonna just drop that thing off to peoples and he's in for his third score of the game first in 10 we'll try that stunt play again and he's just gonna throw that for four yards out of bounds second and six They are going to get sacked again. Another sack. Trey Cobb in on him this time. We've lately been just sending a lot of pressure towards their direction there because we just want to get him a little more frazzled so that he'll just keep throwing it to our team. And that is almost another sack. He barely gets that thing off. So we're probably just going to be trying to more or less run the clock out here. Good run from Cameron. He's going to get two yards. We have pretty much just have had an absolutely excellent game here pretty consistently. Cameron's going to get another nice 8-yard gain, and that's a first down. See if we can get him up over the century mark here in this conference championship game. It's really been a good statement win for us. And that, oh, he's a little faster. That's a touchdown from Cameron. Second and six. See if we can get a little bit more run here. Oh, and Cameron got tripped up. He had so much room. So it's going to be third and ten. Absolutely forgot about that again, which is terrible. But Chase is going to have to run with it, and he cannot pick up the first. But we're just going to keep the clock moving. That is up, and it is good, and it is now 45-21. to 21. So is it now time to just let the guys eat the pass rushers, just go right at them? And that is a drop pass. He heard the footsteps from Logan Dublin. So there's really, it's just too little, too late at this point. And Nick Ross is there for a four-yard loss on the screen. He sniffed that out. Expecting the pass, pumping up the crowd again. It's not a pass, though. It is a run, and Logan Dublin will make the tackle. It's going to bring up a fourth and five. They're also more or less just letting the clock run out. Probably going to see if they can try to put up some points here, but it's not looking great, and it's another sack. Jordan Earl's going to get the sack, and that's a, tia, that's a turnover on downs. Should be able to basically just run this one out, as this will be our last run that I'll let you guys see. Cameron's going to get some nice space, and he's pushed out of bounds after 17. And that is going to cap off our victory in our conference championship game. That is insane. I'm so pumped. So we will knee this thing out, and that will end this game. 45-21 is your final score. App State is the Sun Belt champion in their first season here. Just an unbelievable season for us. We're not done yet. We got one more game to go in our bowl game to see if we can break some of those recruiting restrictions but just an absolutely amazing game from us defensively we had a lot of great plays and we also had a lot of missed tackles that allowed them to score up some points or we really really could have blown this team out as we were just severely better than them overall so i'm 
unfortunate that they had their starting QB injured, but the backup played okay, but he did take a ton of sacks. We'll have to see how many sacks they gave up, but I am sure it was close to double digits. So game stats here, Chase Bryce, 10 for 18, 91 yards and two interceptions. Terrible game passing, just awful. So glad we were able to run the ball freely because, uh, oh, look at this. We had 200 rushing yards between our QB and our running back. It's Cameron Peoples had 119 and three touchdowns. Chase Bryce had 90 and a touchdown. Stroman also 34 yards on just two rushes. Real, real good rushing attack. And hopefully that's going to continue for us. Receiving yards, again, just terrible passing game in general, so it wasn't great for receivers either. And then defensively, Logan Dublin, 11 tackles is insane. Tons of TFLs. Now look at all the sacks here. We have, what, 8, 9, 10, 11 sacks on the night. A huge game from us defensively. That's a ton of sacks. Everybody's getting in on the action. The whole D-line, some of the linebackers, just fantastic. You can't forget the pick six from Ethan Johnson. Mm -hmm. Looks like Jalen Daniels will win the Heisman by a considerable amount over Caleb Williams. Looks like we will be playing against Army in the New Orleans Bowl. This will be an interesting one because they're a pretty run-heavy team and we apparently can't tackle to save our lives, so this might be rough for us. Deshaun Davis officially won the Jet Award as the best returner in NCAA, and that is true. He was just phenomenal this year. Squire Boone, the 11th, did indeed win the Coach of the Year, taking this bottom-ranked team all the way up into the top 30. It's looking at the top 25 ranking now. Washington is now number one. Then Georgia, USC, Michigan, who lost, drops back to four. Oregon, Ohio State, North Carolina. Clemson lost and dropped back to eighth. Nine, Duke, and 10 for Utah. Looking through the rest of them, Oklahoma drops back to 12. And Wisconsin, Baylor, and Louisville. Looking at the All-American team, Cameron Peoples officially is the running back first team All-American. That is awesome to see. Logan Dublin also made the first team All-NCAA for All-American. Ronald Clark made it as a free safety. And Deshaun Davis made it as a returner. Second team, our kicker Michael Hughes made it to the second team All-American. And Ethan Johnson made CB1 for freshman All-American. Championship contenders, looks like we are now up to the 30th ranked team now after an 11-2 season. That's just a fantastic year. We just need one more game left. All right, that's going to about wrap up this video for us. Next week, we will play Army in our bowl game to see if we can break those recruiting restrictions and cap off a great season with our 12th win. Thank you all so much for watching the video. We're building this community together, so if you have any feedback for me, just drop a comment below and let me know. I try my best to read every comment in the video. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the content and want to know when the next video drops. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.